Welcome to Howard Power Center Steering. This video presentation will help you to become acquainted with the system. We have designed the system to be user friendly so that you can turn it on or off at any time without causing a steering problem. It does not have to be set any special way before turning it on or off. Learning to use the system will be easier than you may have imagined. You will find that driving with the system on will be more relaxing and less tiring. Let's start by becoming familiar with the user-friendly driving control panel. The trim button, the pressure regulator, the on-off switch, and the pressure gauge. The panel lights up when your instrument panel lights are on. Therefore, a lighted switch does not mean that the system is either on or off. An easy way to determine if the power centering system is on or off is to observe the pressure gauge. When there is no pressure shown, the system is effectively off. Zero pressure on the gauge could mean that the system is not turned on or that the regulator is turned down all the way. The gauge will also be at zero when the engine is not running and the safety cutoff switch is open. For example, notice when the switch is turned on, there is no pressure indicated until the engine is started and the power steering is working properly. This is something you should do every time you start the engine. Turn the ignition switch on and wait long enough to see if there is an indication of pressure before starting the engine. This easy check verifies that the power steering safety switch is working properly. Check your operator's manual for complete details on this. Here are a few things that will ease any concerns you may have about learning to use the system. It's reassuring to know that your normal power steering system is many times more powerful than the power centering system. This means that you will always be able to steer the direction you want to go, regardless of how the trim is set. You should not be concerned that an out-of-trim condition would prevent you from steering your vehicle the direction that you want to go. For demonstration purposes, we have adjusted to the maximum centering pressure. We have come to a complete stop and turned the wheel hard right. We will push the trim button while the wheels are turned. This is the only way that you could create a maximum out-of-trim condition. While the wheels are completely out of trim to the right, we will drive for a while to show you how easy it is to control an out of trim condition. With this unusual out of trim condition, the driver feels a stronger than normal steering wheel pull that's easily overcome by the power steering system. This is only for demonstration purposes. You would not be required to drive with this out of trim condition. Watch how easy it is to completely eliminate the steering wheel pull. Press the trim button for a few seconds while going straight. And presto, the steering wheel pull is gone. Until you become used to trimming, it may take a few extra taps of the trim button. Going perfectly straight is what power center steering is all about. The on-center steering position can only be set while rolling. This exclusive feature can add many miles of enjoyable driving by eliminating steering wheel pull, especially on a slanted road. Once you get used to it, trimming out steering wheel pull will become easy and almost automatic. Here's what you need to know about trimming the steered wheels. The trim system works better at a pressure above 50 pounds. To trim out steering wheel pull, hold the wheel straight and press the trim button for a few seconds. When you release the trim button, the trim will be adjusted to the direction you were steering at the time the button was released. Once the trim is adjusted for the straight ahead position without steering wheel pull, small trim changes will require only an occasional quick tap to make the small corrections that may be needed because of changing road conditions. You should trim only when going straight. Should you press the trim button when on a curve, it would have to be retrimmed when you are again going straight. Trimming in a strong, gusty crosswind is not as easy to do. It may take more than one trim adjustment. 
Trimming on a slatted road sometimes requires a different method, depending on the amount of wheel pull required to keep the vehicle going straight. When there is an unusual amount of wheel pull, it takes a little practice to set the trim with a small amount of bias toward the uphill side of the road. When trimming by holding the wheel straight doesn't completely correct all of the wheel pull on a slanted road, it'll be necessary to turn slightly uphill just as you release the trim button. As the road slant changes, you will not have to retrim for each different condition unless the road slant produces noticeable wheel pull that won't go away as the road slant varies. Setting the system pressure will also require a little practice to determine which pressure works best for the different driving conditions. The primary function of the pressure regulator is to adjust the centering pressure acting on the steered wheels. A clockwise rotation increases the pressure and a counterclockwise rotation decreases the pressure. The effective pressure is shown on the system pressure gauge. When learning to use the system, you should try different pressure settings to determine which settings work best for different driving conditions. As the speed is increased, higher pressure will provide increased directional stability. You will notice a corresponding increase in steering force. This is normal and reduces the tendency to oversteer, which is an added safety feature. When driving in a crosswind or towing a vehicle, higher centering pressure will usually be necessary. You will find the overall drivability and added safety of power center steering very reassuring. Most drivers feel the reduction in driving fatigue is a big plus. Last on the safety list, but by no means least, is steered wheel blowout protection. With the system turned on and the pressure set, Power Center Steering provides excellent blowout protection by assisting you in holding your course in case of a steered wheel blowout. Now here's a special notice. Power Center Steering can only provide the best blowout protection if the following conditions are met. The system must be turned on and it must be turned up to a minimum of 80 pounds per square inch. More pressure gives even greater blowout protection. The system does not provide steered wheel blowout protection when it is turned off. Lower pressure reduces blowout protection. However, any pressure of 50 pounds per square inch or above will add to blowout protection. There are two essential things that must be learned in order for the system to work properly. First, is to learn to trim out steering wheel pull. When any appreciable amount of steering wheel pull exists, you will be steering against the system. The system can only work properly for you when it is trimmed. Second, you must reprogram your personal response to what you feel. When you have been programmed to constantly make steering corrections, there is a natural tendency to continue working the steering wheel, whether it needs it or not. You'll find with a little practice of letting the system hold the vehicle straight, your driving will be more relaxed and you will not be as tired from the driving. It's important to understand the three methods for turning the system off in the unlikely event of a power steering failure. Your normal power steering is very reliable and you probably will never have a loss of power steering except when your engine is stopped. Here are three ways to turn the system off. First, the automatic system disconnect that works automatically should the power steering stop working. Second, you can turn the manual switch to the off position. Check for a pressure drop to zero on the gauge which will verify the system is turned off. In the very unlikely event that the pressure is indicated on the gauge after turning the manual switch off, you can resort to the third way which is to turn the regulator counterclockwise until the gauge reads zero. The steering of tomorrow is here today. Howard Power Center Steering, the world's most advanced heavy vehicle steering system, setting new standards by which all future steering will be judged. <laughs>